Kareem, you ain't no player. Read my, you ain't no player. <laughs> favorite favorite auntie momo and i am back for another episode review of cheaters y'all this is christina and kareem this one was good <laughs> hopefully you got your drinks and you're ready of course i got my little i got some um what i got peach moscato today just something a little light you know what i'm saying um as always regular church announcements if you have not done so just yet please go ahead and subscribe to my channel everybody that is new coming to my channel i sure appreciate y'all I love interacting with everybody. I love when everybody leaves comments. I love it. So please don't stop. I thank you so much for all of my new subscribers and all of my returning family, all of my nieces and nephews out there. What's going on? Auntie Show sure Enough missed ya. Look here. Also, uh, make sure your notifications are turned on. Let me know you stopped by. Give me a thumbs up. Um, I also want to let you guys know, um, there's going to be a website. I'm going to leave the link down in the description box below. Check out BK World Tube. That is another platform, um, aside from YouTube, where you can go to and see different show reviews where other content creators such as myself are able to showcase their videos and you get to see other reviews to shows that I don't do like, um, Insecure, Sisters, Black AF, um, Empire, I don't know. I think I said Insecure. Real Housewives of Atlanta and a couple of other shows. Um, what was that? X on the Beach. Too Hot to Handle. You get to see those shows. The shows that I don't review. There are other content creators on there. And it is black sponsor, you know, support. We only get one month out of the year as it is. Let's go ahead and support throughout the year. Anyways, but um, no, for real though, y'all. I'm going to leave the link down in the description box below. If nothing else, just go click on the link. Go check it out. See, like I said, it's another platform where other content creators such as myself can show off their show reviews and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Y'all look here. This episode of Cheetahs was good. This damn Kareem, I don't, I, I, it, it was just a mess. Like I said, hopefully y'all got your little old drinks. Because we finna kiki afterwards. Hopefully y'all are ready for this review because I'm ready to give it to you. So let's go and get right on up into it, y'all. Y'all, so we got Christina. She's 30 years old. She's been dating this guy named Kareem. He's 45. They've been together for five and a half years. They have a three-year-old daughter together, right? Now, Christina's a real pretty girl. She says that, you know, when they first got together, that, you know, everything was good. He was real romantic. He did a lot for her. Of course, over time, everything has changed. He has gotten more focused on work. He's not really, she says he's not really neglecting his daughter, but he's not there like he's supposed to be. You know, he said, he, uh, she said his daughter is not in school. So, you know, the daughter's there throughout the day. By the time he gets home, it's late at night. He ain't up to play with the baby girl. You know what I'm saying? And he just ain't around like he is no more. Shit just shifted. You know what I'm saying? The nigga acting a little funny. So she knows some shit is going on, right? Now, FYI, that's why the bitch called cheater. She know the nigga was doing something. Y'all, so it's day one of the investigation, right? So we got the guy, Kareem. They go up to his job and they staking out. Got a bird's eye on this nigga from his job, right? So after work, he goes out to his car. No sooner than he's at his car, another little car, little black car come pull up. Chick get out the car. They walk up to each other, greeting, kissing, and hugging, and all that. He grabbing her on the ass and all of that shit, right? They end up going over to his car. She um, sits in the passenger side of his car. He was in there, but he ends up running next door, liquor store, right there next door to his job. He runs over there to the liquor store, get a little bottle, go back in his car. Him and the girl chilling in his car. The little girl, I mean, not little girl, but the girl, like they kick in, having a good time drinking. His head ends up disappearing in between her lap. You don't see his head no more, but you see her head go back. She laughing, having a good old time, whatever, right? That was day one of the investigation. Now, day two of the investigation, they able to find out the chick name is Tony. Now, once again, they meet up at his job. This time, she ends up following him. They end up going to like this little bar, lounge, nightclub type thing, whatever, right? Now, he gets out the car. Baby, he got on his little <laughs> two-piece cat 
daddy suit. Y'all know how them cat daddies do when they want to freshen up, when they want to get snazzy on your bitch ass? They'll pull out a little, uh, a two-piece, a silk one, or a velour one, two-piece, and they got on their pointed Stacey Adams. They didn't come to play with you hoes. If they really doing that shit, the... Not only is the outfit together, but the shoes match, and they got a hat to match that bitch as well. He came out in his little cat daddy two-piece outfit, and I wasn't even mad at him. You know what I'm saying? They end up going over there, like I said, to the bar lounge thing. They in there, hugged up, having a little old romantical time, kicking back, chilling. Afterwards, he ends up walking her to her car. Once they get to her car, they kissing, rubbing, feeling all of them, do me baby, and all of that. She ends up leaving, getting her car. He ends up leaving his car, going back home to Christina and his baby girl. Mind you, nigga said on a phone call with Christina that he got to work late, right? Now, another day of the investigation. Once again, they meet up at his job. It's after work. Tony shows up. She follows him to a restaurant. This time she gets out. Girl, she got a little old heels on, a little wedges, looking like a newborn baby deer trying to walk around them big ass wedges, child. They end up going to a restaurant, having a nice little romantical dinner. You know what I'm saying? Like, they like a for real couple. Only thing is, you steady meeting this nigga up here at his job. At the end of the day, y'all kissing, y'all going on about your way. I don't know if they ever got to the point to where she asked, like, what's going on? But... I don't know, I guess I'm an old school bitch and I know how these players try to play. I'd have seen something goddamn wrong with that. Am I wrong? Yeah, they meet up with Christina and show her the footage that they found out about her little old boyfriend, Kareem, how he out here laying a little spread of wide with some little old dark skinned, pretty chocolatey chick or whatever, right? When she showed up to the meeting, Christina did not come to play. She was TTG, trained to go, okay? Mama showed up in her half crop top white beater with her pink Daisy Dukes, hair back in a little cute ponytail. So, you know what I'm saying? She was wrecked. <laughs> the bitch was wrecked. Y'all had her out there ass messed up. So, they showing her the video, everything that they done found out. Y'all, this nigga messy. Parking lot. You met up with some bitch in our car? And meet this female, yes. They make out, they kiss. He then this puts. Got to be kidding. In the passenger side of his Cadillac, not before he says, hold on one second, he jogs over and runs into a liquor store. That's when we see him come out with some beers. Making out with this hoe and I call. Yeah. Well, I gotta sit at again. home or ride the bus home from work and What the So this is making sense. You see her laughing and stuff, I mean, inside of the vehicle that you two share together, correct? Exactly. This motherfucker talking about he working and he caking up with this hoe. Christine, I'm going to stop right there because you can kind of see her face. Have you ever seen this woman in your life? No, nah, I don't know that bitch. You don't recognize her at all? Nah. Okay. Continuing on, that's when we see... Now, he ain't doing nothing but hyping the bitch up. You can see all in her facial, forehead veins, all of that. She look a little muscular in her shoulders, too. Look, bitch is like she's been packing logs her whole goddamn life. Now, when I'm seeing the way she built, kind of Flojo-ish, I'm like, okay... This bitch finna go and wreck goddamn shop. Wherever the hell they at. Y'all wanna know where they at? Bitch, they at the Squirt Club. Ecstasy Night Club. The little um, host, Clark Gable, was like, I know where they at right now. Bitch, they at the bucket neck. You wanna go? Christina said, bitch, let's ride out. Let's fucking roll. Girl, next thing you know, these niggas go busting in on top of the goddamn butt naked. It's hoes trying to make their goddamn rent money. Some of these bitches didn't get no goddamn stimulus. So they try to make their goddamn money. These hoes come busting. Right there. Right here. Right here. Some answers, Kareem. Listen, you got a daughter? Been daughter. together for five years. Me and her been going to. We may go with this bitch. Cowards, you don't need to talk to her. Hold on, baby. Don't pull. Nah, you got. Bitch, I will snatch all that motherfucking weave out your head. You know what, bitch? I'll snatch it off my damn self and beat your ass. Now what? Bitch, now what? Right up. 
Oh, oh, wait, stop grabbing her. This Talk is to my her. Baby. <laughs> As you can see, Tony didn't know nothing about goddamn Christina. Both of these females need to be going at his goddamn ass, not each other. Now, like I said, this bitch Christina, she kind of gentlemanly ish in the shoulders. She came by the battle with a little crop top and Daisy Dukes on. I'm thinking this bitch ready to scrap, ready to goddamn go down. But she had a whole lot more bark. than she did bite. I don't know if it was just a ratchet in me that was just waiting to see her go. Yeah, it was. It was, yeah, that's what it was. The ratchet in me wanted to see her go the hell off, <laughs> start <laughs> busting windows out the car. I mean, you already came ready to go to jail. You know what I'm saying? But her bark was a lot worse than her bite. Child, the way she took off on top of the car, I was like, what? I don't want him. I don't want him. See you Green, why'd you lie to both of these girls? She knew. <laughs> bitch, she I knew. You, I knew? She, she you gonna know. say I knew? You knew. Yeah, I told you the whole oh time. Oh my God. Remember that. You got a family at home, but you at her boy with these hoes. I don't even mother with kids. What you talking about? This nigga Kareem then has a nerve to tell her it's her goddamn fault. Excuse me? What? After that, I would have seen nothing but goddamn red. I would have been ready to remove his whole head from his body. He says it's her fault that he had to go out and cheat and do whatever. What? Where? You up in here with this hoe? Baby, it's over with. It's a wrap. What the it's f you wrap. mean? It's a wrap. We can't be together no more. Get the camera out my face. Out my face. It ain't her fault. It's your fault. What it the ain't got to do with it. It ain't got to do with her. Ass. It ain't got to do with her. It's your fault. What the fuck you her? mean? It's your fault. Her fault. It's you. You ain't give me no money. So, child, after Christina goes back and forth, jumping on top of the goddamn car, acting a goddamn fool, I'm thinking that she really bad and bad about that goddamn life. Like, she finna goddamn do something. He tells her it's over with. He don't want nothing to goddamn do with her ass. This goddamn Tony, she's embarrassed now. I mean, well, you done snatched the goddamn wig off, so bitch, you ain't that goddamn embarrassed. But he tells her that you knew about her. That's what was messed up. That was, that... Kareem, you a whole ass punk ass nigga for that. For you to sit up there and cheat on this girl and then have the nerve to tell a side chick you knew. But you know, did it again? You never know. She could have known about her. You know, I take that back. She could have known about her, but she just chose to keep doing whatever the hell it was. And she just, anyways, child, Tony ends up getting her car. As you can see, she's leaving. She said, I don't want nothing to do with no nigga with no goddamn kids anyway. Afterwards, this nigga Kareem try to get in his car, try to leave. Christina stopping his ass, blocking the door so he can't goddamn go nowhere. Nah, nigga, you don't talk to me. Nigga, what's up, nigga? Still, not once does she still off on his ass. She barely, barely taps him across his chin. He gets in his car. He leaves. Christina then says she needs to hurry up. Y'all need to hurry up and take me the fuck home. So as soon as I get home, I'm taking all these niggas' clothes out and I'm burning everything. That's what Christina said. Cha, this damn episode was a goddamn mess. Kareem, you ain't no player. Okay? And like I said, I ain't calling a man ugly. Nothing like that. I'm just saying he don't favor nobody. Not for y'all to be out here out in the front of the strip club in the parking lot. Pulling on this man's goddamn arm like a tug of war. Getting ready to fight over him. Like, for realsies, that's what we doing. Y'all, look here. Y'all already know the um, information is down in the description box below. Shout out to CBS and YouTube for the video clips. Because I damn sure got it from YouTube. So, YouTube, you won't copyright me on your own shit. You do what you got to do. And I'm just saying, don't copyright a bitch. But look here. If it was anything that I missed after y'all see the episode, drop it down below. Let's keep here and let me know. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And your auntie Mo will see y'all in the next video. Peace out. Elbow bump. Bam. Ooh, it's ashy, girl. I just took me a good little old shower. Good little nasty shower, too. It was good.